Okay, so I've just come off uh, Junction 15 on the N7, heading towards Emo. So the place we're going to have a look at today on this series of Far Away From The Crowds videos is Emo Courthouse um, in the village of Emo, or just outside of it. Now Emo House is a large mansion, it's uh, set in beautiful grounds with a lake and if you're coming to Leash, again the locals know about it and there are people there but it's not overcrowded and it's definitely another place to visit should you be in Leash. Um, so there's a sign there just for the Gandon Inn. Now the name Gandon uh, is connected to Emo Courthouse in the sense now the Gandon Inn is a pub here it's built with the old rock work it goes back to the 1800s as well but James Gandon was the the architect the original architect for uh, Emo Courthouse and which was back in the what, late 18th century in the 1780s and he was commissioned by John Dawson to build this mansion. And to cut a long story short, the mansion took over 60, 70 years to build. John Dawson never saw this mansion completed. And John Dawson was the first Earl of Port Arlington now since the mid 18th century, sorry, the mid 19th century, um, when Emo House was completed, it's gone through different owners. And but finally, in the 1990s, the Office of Public Works or the council took over the house, and it's now. A tourist attraction for people to visit although it's not overcrowded now I'm turning right here I'm not going into the village of Emo uh, on the right here you will what we'll do we'll come to uh, if, in fact it's a parking space but it's actually where a cemetery is Capacil Cemetery I think it is but as we travel up this little track here um, what I would say is you can go to the main car park if you've got kids you can go to the main car park of Emo, Emo House and you'll be right where the house is and a lot of the time there are a few facilities and I'm just going to park up here this is as I said this is just a, a car park here now I'm just going to come over here a little bit you might be able to see in the distance there's some bollards up there now that's another entrance to the house and if you were bringing guests or all your you know you want to see Emo House in all its glory this is the way to come. If you want to bring visitors here this is the way to come. Definitely the way to come. Now there's the main gates there that would have been the main gates in, in the day. Where I parked up was just around to the right and the cemetery car park is just up there on the left about 50 yards. So I won't say too much now because we've got a lot to see. What I will say to you is I've talked to you about James Gandon, uh, the architect, and John Dawson, uh, who first commissioned James to build this house. It was not until the third Earl of Port Arlington, which was Henry Dawson, that we really got to the stage where the house is today um, and how it was meant to look. So there's the main gate again. This is the roadway or the, the track that leads towards the house. Actually it's a little bit stony but it can be 
I'm sure it can, with a wheelchair, I don't think it would be too much of a problem with the access. And this stone road goes all the way to the house. So, but you can see Beechwood's on the left and the right. And we're going to carry on and follow the track to see where it goes. Okay, so imagine you're a debutant coming to a ball at the Emerald Courthouse, which the Earl of Port Arlington is hosting. You come from, from the gates there, getting excited. You're looking out your carriage on the right hand side there, and in the distance, here you can see the house still a way away and then as you look out the front you come across these wonderful sakura trees or giant redwoods they're fairly rare in this country but these trees are 30 or 40 meters high and they were planted around the mid 19th century so we're looking at trees here which are over 150 years old they're just magnificent. Now they wouldn't have been this high in those days obviously, but wow, it's impressive. lovely redwoods the sun comes out to shine show them in all their glory what a wonderful walk that is wow okay so there is a, a little road to cross but it is only a little road I was just trying to give you some idea of the gap here in case someone was in a wheelchair I think it's big enough for a wheelchair to get through. Like I say, there's a small road to cross. Very few people here still. You now I'm in the morning, but but again, you can see what a lovely view that is coming through those trees. So as you walk down towards the house which is on your left hand side you see there's a lot of farmland here now this originally wouldn't have been there um, but the Earls of Port Arlington were here until 1914 when they started to leave and then when the Easter Rising came they actually fled and that was the end um, of the Earls of Port Arlington which owned Emo House later on a lot of the ground was gifted to the local farmers um, who as you can see this wheat field here has just been harvested but what a wonderful sight and in some ways it complements the house still so you can see the path curves around and the path keeps going and it keeps curving around but you can be sure that was fairly intentional still going through these Sakura trees as you come around the corner you get your first glimpse of the house Now, back in the day, in the late 19th century, you would have actually seen more of the house because obviously these trees wouldn't have been that high. But what a view. 
What a view. So you can get some idea of the distance of the walk. Like I said, the ground isn't too bad. But it does add on a nice 20 minutes as you head towards the gates. But like I say, Beechwood's on the left here. Sakuri trees. And what a view all the way around. What a lovely place this is. Now it is dog friendly. And these Sakuri trees here, it looks like new ones have been planted here. You can see they're planting them on the left and the right. Wow, fabulous. So here we are, just coming through the main gates. As you can see, opening hours are 8.30 till 9pm. And they do shut the gates. But wow. A lovely morning. So the heyday of Emo Courthouse would have been really after the third Earl of Port Arlington, uh, Henry Dawson, had it completed. He obviously wanted to show it off, so he would host parties, um, he would host dignitaries and bring them here to show off what he'd done. So, that, like I say, his heydays would have been the late 19th century, but for today's practical purposes, we do have tea facilities here. You can get a cup of tea, get a bun. There are restroom facilities. It is a wonderful place uh, to bring your children or to bring visitors. So please do. You know, now I'm here in the morning and there's nobody here. So when I'm talking about far away from the crowds, which this series is, if you come during the day or during the week when people are at work, you may you may meet nobody. Um, I'm here on a on a Wednesday morning. And as you can see, there's no one around. So it'd be a lovely walk to come and do and to see this wonderful place. And there's a few more surprises which I haven't told you about yet, which would be well worth seeing. So these redwoods still dominate the skyline. I'm just going to sweep around and give you a first look, full look at the house. So here is another lane where you can drive in. Like I say, there's, for those who are not up for the walk, there's a car park here. And like you say, you're right next to the house. You've seen the walk in, here's the front of the house, and it's absolutely wonderful. But here's the thing. This is only half the surprise. We're only halfway up to the house yet. There's so much more in store, so. And that's at the back of the house. So here is Polyhymnia. She was a Greek myth um, of poetry and agriculture. She was often depicted with um, being deep in thought, often with a hand next to her face. And it makes you wonder what she was thinking. And she was looking at the house. So this is Emo Courthouse from the other direction. 
um, again fabulous and it looks out over wonderful gardens very manicured Here we have another statue either she's doing a pirouette or she's just shielding herself from the sun but what she is definitely doing is looking in the direction of the house This is Emo Courthouse from the side view. But again, look at the grounds. They're fabulous. Wow. Okay, so for the final surprise, as I mentioned before, Emo has um, a lake at the back of the gardens. But up until perhaps 10 years ago, it was quite undeveloped. But now they have built a purpose-built path so you can walk around the whole of the lake. It's about two kilometers to get around it. But it just sort of finishes the visit off. There's a few swans, a few wildlife. It's a wildlife there, but if you come in, make a day of this visit. Uh, like I say, start from the main entrance, walk all the way through, have a cup of tea or something, then come out. But don't forget to do this last part, the walk around the lake. It's a fabulous walk. Just give you some idea of the trails. In 1990s, in the 1990s, the Office of Public Works took over the building, and it's since then that things have really developed. Um, and they're doing a fantastic job. It's a big place for people to bring their dogs. Very big grounds. Nowhere near any roads. There's a lot of dog walking goes on here. But you'll get a few more people on the main trail, perhaps going around the lake it is a lovely walk, a lot of joggers here sometimes, but if you're off the, the main path, like you say, as, as we are now, it's just a fabulous walk. So this is the path I was telling you about, and this goes all around the lake. As you can see there. So definitely don't miss this walk. It really is nice. So here we have the lake. There's a path that goes right around the lake. Bringing you back around to here. And to the magnificent Emo house which overlooks everything. What a place to come. So there you have it, Emo Court House. Fabulous place to visit. From the front drive in, walking all the way in, that two kilometre walk, to a wonderful mansion, to wonderful manicured grounds, to the lake. Why wouldn't you want to come and visit? Far away from the crowds, we're now around 10 o'clock here, hardly anyone around. It's a wonderful place.